Let's simulate some grass growing. Take your cube and put a dirt texture on it. If you don't have one, you can follow this tutorial. Put a subdivision surface modifier and a few displacement modifiers to make your cube bumpy. Create some rocks and put them in a collection. If you don't have rocks, you can follow the tutorial and add two rock particle systems to your dirt sphere. One for large rocks and one for small rocks. Turn on advanced and enable random rotation. Then set render to your rock collection. Add an HDRI and put some keyframes to rotate it around your object to look like a sun. Make another rounded cube or bring in a sphere and use this node setup to add some clouds. If you animate the W value on your 4D noise, you can create a swirling effect. And if you animate the flags and colors of the flags on the color ramp, you can make the clouds appear and disappear. Before the clouds disappear, adjust the roughness on the dirt texture to make it look wet. Then after rotation, make it look dry. Create some grass clumps. You can follow this tutorial for grass Create two collections, one for yellow and one for green grass. Add two particle systems, one for the green and one for the yellow grass. Set to 15,000 for the green and to advanced, and set the render to the collection, and select the green grass collection. Set rotation to normal, then rotate the grass clumps till the normals look, work properly. I rotated mine on the Y axis by 90 degrees. I also have interpolated children turned to 30, and then I have a noise texture with the color ramp driving the density. Set keyframes for the grass clump scales to make it look like it's growing. Then add a rotation keyframe, and in the graph editor, select the rotation and add a noise modifier. Set the scale to 3 and the strength to 0.5, and offset the movements by varying these numbers across the clumps. Do the same thing for the second axis until it looks convincing. Do the same thing for the yellow grass, and play around with the noise color ramp influence on the density until it looks good. I made it so mine didn't overlap very much. To stop the yellow grass from moving, uncheck the box next to the rotation that's being modified. To change the color of the yellow grass, you can shift over the UV coordinates like I have here, or you get an RGB node and create a yellow color influence with a mix before the BDSF. I'm going to add a driver to spin my dirt ball really slowly. I'll type the number sign, then the word frame, then divide it by 800. This was the fast version. If it was too fast, then check out my slow version for any details you want to explain. Thanks for watching.